In the 1920s, automobile machinery was not very refined. Breakdowns were common. Travelers relied on service stations along their route to keep them going. Steele County was a junction point for several early highways, including the Jefferson Highway, Red Ball Route, Interstate Trail, and the Black and White. The Zamboni Garage, located on the corner of North Cedar and East Pearl, advertised their services to attract broke-down travelers. Universal Joint problems sent many autos to Zamboni Garage. The Universal Joint allows a car's drive shaft flexibility as the suspension reacts to road conditions or the wheels turn during steering. Universal joints required copious greasing to remain cool and friction-free. However, if not covered, dirt and pebbles would collect in the grease and affect the life of the joint. Pebbles could become wedged in the moving parts while sand and dirt slowly ground the joint. Both of these, both of these lead to failures. The solution was to place a cover over the universal joint. This cover was called a boot. However, each auto manufacturer designed and produced a unique boot. The need to stock or order dozens of unique boots hampered repair shops and could strand automotive enthusiasts for weeks while orders were placed and filled. The Zamboni boot was a cover designed to fit any universal joint. It was designed, patented, and manufactured by Sylvie Zamboni. Born in Owatonna in 1876, Sylvie Isidore Zamboni grew up with his family in the apartment above the business. As a result, from a young age, Sylvie watched his father Carlo, a gunsmith, operate the family store and numerous precision machining tools. As Sylvie grew, so did his role in the family business. As an able-bodied promoter, mechanic, and inventor, Sylvie brought visibility to the family business. Road rallies would divert their route to pass through Owatonna so they may obtain repairs from Zamboni Auto. As the years passed, Sylvie became the victim of several unfortunate garage accidents. Numerous traumas from explosions and crushing injuries reflect the safety measures of the day. Despite this, Sylvie had a long life. He passed away in 1966 at age 89. This easy on type special boot kit manufactured by C. Zamboni and Sons of Oatana includes two leather boots, two steel hose clamps, one small brown envelope containing rivets for fastening the boot, and one instruction sheet. We encourage you to visit the Autos and Roads exhibition at the Steele County Historical Society through March 2018 to learn more about this and other stories. Our mission is preserving and sharing history today for tomorrow.